Fandom Arcade. Ready? Start. Welcome back to Fandom Arcade, featuring musical guest Kanye West. <laughs> Just, I've never heard of him. Who is he? What does he know? Yeah. Is he a Fulbright scholar? <laughs> yep. Nope. Probably not. <laughs> I doubt it. Gonna gonna go out on a limb. Say nope. I'm unboxing my new Macintosh. <laughs> Macintosh? <laughs> yep. Your new Macintosh computer. <laughs> oh, this game is just... Oh yeah, seriously, God. this game is some of the best exploration ever. Oh, yeah. I, man, and the particulate and draw distance in this game is incredible. It really gives you a sense of immersion. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and the color palette is so... It's like pastel but active mm -hmm. is the best way I can describe it um oh this is so cool and we're and I can tell I can already tell we're about to go into like more space land oh yeah this is what happens when we find a space well mm -hmm. which also you realize I'll never look at gazebos the same way uh, I will always want gazebos to be underwater and full of uh spiritual magics Okay, now I'm just uh, now that you've raised the bar that high, I'm like, say Evan. Yes. Yes. Would you like to come to my garden party? It's in my new gazebo on the lawn. Huh. Well. Okay. Is it in space? N no, it's it's on the front lawn. That's. I mean, it would be better if it was in space. Now, well, I know that, but uh, we'll can have cucumber sandwich. Can? Uh, are these like magic nautili? We died. We totally right, we died. Is this is this a metaphor for death? I was gonna say no. Is no, this no. game a metaphor for death? We didn't die in the game, but you and I have died somehow. We we died for real. Also, you so, die in the game, you die for real. If you die in the <laughs> game, you die for real. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. God, this is so good. Uh, so here's one of the things that's actually kind of edgy for me. What's that? Is that when I see edgy for you, Dan? When you're I'm seeing edge when I'm seeing the ghost um, snails, I'm remembering not, not 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 a lie. I'm remembering Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within. I'm like Evan; they'll take your soul. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I wasn't using it. Oh wow, this just happened. I just thought about if Don Pardo was Morpheus. Oh Jesus, Dan! I, I've gone too far. You've gone too far. <laughs> You've gone too far. You think that's air you're breathing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I did. <laughs> now I'm questioning it. <laughs> Don Pardorfius. <laughs> Don Pardorfius. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Tell me I'm wrong. I dare you. Because <laughs> I will say that you, sir, are the one who is wrong. For soon it will be you who is wrong. You will be the one wrong. Who is? Yep. All right. Uh, I suppose I should probably uh, grab on to that gigantic whale uh, shark. Yeah. I'm guessing it's whale shark. It, uh, well, it seems and like whale shark. Hey, hey, whale shark. How are you? Doing? <laughs> oh, I'm doing okay. God damn, damn it's it, Ray more Ray Romano. <laughs> is Ray Romano everything that is the goddamn anthropomorphized ocean? Yep. Pretty much. Uh, this is actually really cool because it does give you um, this opportunity to test your sea life knowledge. Test your might. Test your might. Test, test your ability to identify sea creatures. Damn it, Shao Kahn. You really kind of went off book there. Mortal men and women identifying fish. Uh, so Raiden and Shao Kahn have kind of waved bye bye. Yeah. Also, um, weird lightning river underwater, so that's... There's nothing weird about a lightning river underwater. Bring up an excellent point, Dan. I stand corrected, and honestly, I just feel foolish at this point. Uh, you kind of sound foolish. <laughs> you, uh, you sound ignorant, is what you sound like. Dan, Evan, I wouldn't wear that voice outside. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's going on with this oh. bad boy. Yeah. I made glow. That's nice. It's certainly a nice thing to have. Oh, oh you oh, caught he... the glyphs. Oh, and I, I love that he, I love that the little robot 
little robot like blinked because of the light. It was like, oh, it's too bright. You like cute little things, don't you? I do, like a lot. You don't at all. I like my dog. Yeah, you do. I had a cat Just in high like, school. Like, oh, her. hey, look, it's a normal Nautilus, not a not a not, not a Final not a weird... Fantasy Spirits Within one. Yeah, not a, not a spectral Nautilus. Yeah, that was a little yeah, a little weird. All right, let's keep following the Lightning River. I'd expect nothing less. Mm-hmm. Dan? I fucking love this game so much. Okay, so glowy orbs. Um, I think those are the things that I put the... Oh, no, look that's, over that's here. That's me. Look over here at triangle dangers. There? No, 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 hard left. Okay. There. So linked triangles, and you're standing on top of triangles. Uh huh. And it's a good thing or a bad thing? I'm... Is this a warning? Uh, is no. It, it seems like, like it seems like something foretelling something. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go up here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with this. Is that? Yeah. Mhm. Mm We're gonna go with okay. Yeah. I think this is. Uh, I think this is normal. Is this my normal now? Mhm. Mm cool. So I lit that one up. Let's follow the lightning river, as we are wont to do. Okay. Follow the lightning river. Dan, this, this is awesome. It also reminds me, once again, I can't help but, like I said, it reminds me very much of the opening of Tomb Raider Underworld. Yep. You know what else? It, okay, this is weird. It also reminds me a little bit of the Prince of Persia remake. I never played it. I did, and I actually really liked it. It was completely nonsense and not a part of it, canon it, it, at all. It seemed, it was almost a little too, like, just the look was a little too bombastic for me. I mean, I was fine. If it came out as the first Prince of Persia movie, movie, game, um, I think it would have been far better received. Um, and ultimately, I, th I thought it was a more enjoyable action game. Uh, but it didn't have, you know what? Never mind. I, I stand correct. I was gonna say it, it. It didn't have the the puzzle solving elements that the original Prince of Persia: Sands of Time had, but it did. It absolutely did. I remember when Sands of Time came out. That was such a great game. Oh yeah, dude. I I still, I still hail that one as one of one of the first truly great environmental puzzle games. And then. Got the second one, the two Jakes really did not care for. The, the two Jakes? That's a Chinatown joke. I don't get it. The sequel to Chinatown is called The Two Jakes. I, uh... I, I stand, again, in correction of my own ignorance. Nice butt. Thank you. <laughs> you know... I uh... grew it myself. It's time for Blue Triangle Land. Ah, the Blue Triangle Land. Mm-hmm. God, man. Gee golly. This is this is awesome, and it's also like, I kind of just can't tell where it's going next. Uh, it does retain an air of mystery, which I really do like. Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. as far as mystery goes, um, so one of the things the games like this and Journey and everything do, and Flower does really well yeah. is a sense of surrealist isolationism. Even though you're surrounded by life and everything, mm -hmm. it's this idea of, like, not only are you alone, but you're not in need of social contact. It's hard yeah. to describe. Hopefully that kind of got some of that across. Uh, no, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Where it's like... This is, I don't know, it's a game that feels like meditation. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of how I, I, I view those types of games. Well, you know there's a weird game that kind of uh, kind of split the difference? Hmm. Oh, that's a giant whale. <gasps> oh, we're in Big oh, Whale Oh, Big Whale Town. I want a baby. Uh, I think control has been taken away from me for a second. Yep. This is a cutscene. Oh, this is so cool. This is... I'm swimming with a whale. I forget what I was talking about. 
This is so bizarre for me because this yeah. is literally reflecting like dreams that I've had. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, this is one of my favorite game experiences I've ever had. Oh, I love it. Oh, eating some fish. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Humpback whales. Even bigger. Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Yep. Space whales. Space whales. Oh, I just got... Oh, I almost got eaten. Oh. The Golden Royal X has... Uh, on, our, on our Twitch feed. On, jumped into our Twitch and says, Hey, fellas, what you doing? Golden Royal X... We are playing Abzu, and holy shit snacks. This is the most surreal, serene, meditative, amazing game ever. I love this with all of my heart. And if you have not played this, you have not experienced show, uh, Stone Shakespeare the way it was intended. Yeah, in its original Klingon. Nice, with the Trek reference. Dude, of course. Second one in a row. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Okay, so you've been- oh, I see another triangle. I do too. I see two triangles. Mm hmm Oh, this is awesome. Whoa. Holy crap. Like, I lost all sense of perspective there. It was- so Yeah, that, what- three- whoa. Okay, we're in Triangle Haven. Interesting. Are those, like, mines? I have to. You I, should. I, I don't know if I want to. Touch no, no, no. Them. Go over to the meditation spot. Oh, they are mines, and I think I. They're just not died. mines. They're security points. Huh. Well, it's, it doesn't seem like a good thing that I want to have. Meditate. Me. Meditate on that shit, yo. Do I? Okay, fine. When has meditation ever done you wrong? Um. Oh, we got on, the best on a, hashtag on a train track. <laughs> we got the best. It's a flabby whale fish. Whoa, come Let's on, play. guys. Oh, I just, I'm, oh man, I'm working <laughs> on it. Okay, that one was more Morty than Ray Romano. Oh, I wasn't trying to do anything. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Best hashtag ever on our Twitch feed. Yeah. Hashtag Star Trek 4 all over again. Yep. yep. Mm hmm. Lanternfish. Hello, lanternfish. Guide my way with your lanterny goodness. So that's kind of a bizarre so thing. Nice. Is so now that now there's try uh, four sided die mm -hmm. mines. Yeah, we got D and D die. Uh, yep, D and D mines. Oh, we're in a boneyard. Yeah, we are. A whale boneyard. Huh. This is interesting. Ooh, I wonder if this will help light up things. Boop. Goblin sharks. Well, that uh, that sounds pleasant. Goblin sharks. Introducing goblin sh Oh god, their eyes are the worst. Nightmare goblin sh sharks with musical guest Kesha. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay, this is whoa. Oh, there's like a cable. Oh, it's another another thing. Hooray! I'm finding solutions. Anglerfish, because nightmares are real. <laughs> That's yeah. Anglerfish, because nightmares are real. Oh. Without the mind, the body can't survive. Oh. Dude, reamings. I wonder if... Huh. Oh, do a thing. There's a thing. Oh, oh you disabled the, the, the demons. Sweet. The demon triangles. <laughs> yep. Oh. And... Okay, so now follow ah. the other cable. So it's kind of like the, the chain it's, thing. Yeah, previous puzzle. Although this is a watery place of death. Yeah, it is. Woo! Oh. Got very disoriented there all of a sudden. Okay, so I deactivated those guys. 
But I think there are still some active. Oh, this is so cool, though. You've seen Star Trek IV, right? Yeah. Okay. The Voyage for Whales. The The Voyage Whales. The, you're my best friend, Spock. I love your face. That would be more Star Trek through the search for Spock. Uh, it's, I mean, you're not wrong. And, and yes, I, I, I know that that is a different one. With the, the hand on the glass. I'll never let go, Jack. Uh, no, that's Wrath of Khan. It's also Titanic. No, remember, Spock told Kirk, you're gonna go on and make babies. You're gonna go make babies, <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> and it's like, Kirk. Parker. I was like, yeah, I am. You already met my son, Marcus. I already did that. I'm so good at making babies. Did that shit for days. Mm hmm Spock, I don't mean to tell you you're a bad friend, but did you notice at the beginning of this movie I was turning 50? It's like, seriously. Bro. I, I'm, uh, it's like, Spock, bro, I, I literally call you on the communicator every time I pull in some new strange. And I know it's usually... And I call you a lot. And it's usually green, but yep. like, damn, dude, you, you, you answer, so I know. Yep, yep. Pull in some space strange. It's, yep, that's how he does it. Uh-oh. Don't wanna... I don't wanna get... Mind zapped. Mind zap. Mind zapped. Oh, this is so cool. I feel like there's more stuff to explore, probably. Oh, Dan, I just like this is incredible. Like, this is all the awesome exploration and stuff. Ooh, thermal vents? Dude! Thermal vents! Yeah! This game has everything! Yeah, thermal vents! Yeah! Yeah! I'm so excited for the- oh. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna try and... Avoid. Avoid those guys. Oh. Oh my god, you gotta save- you gotta save RoboShark! Yep. Yep, do the right thing. Dude, I'm in- One of my favorite Spike Lee films. Yep. Hey, hey, shark. I know you bit up my robot buddy, but I... I respect you as a creature of the deep. And, and I want to be your friend. Oh, he's smiling, look at him. I mean, that's just what sharks do. They smile because they're hungry. And you taste like food. Mm-hmm. They are happy because they are surrounded by everything they want inside of them. <laughs> which is everything. I'm looking at our Twitch feed right now. This stream has nothing to do with Star Trek. What? Did you make any promises that I don't know about? I start- I talk about Star Trek all the time, but... Yeah. Oh, Ooh. sperm whale. Sperm whale? Yeah! Gigantic sperm whale. Dude. I think we're about to go on another adventure. My boys can swim. Yeah, they can. Come on, whale. Come on. Come on. Put your radio on. I'm trying to chase this whale. It's not. Come oh, on, jellyfish! Come on! Oh, man. look! 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 Over there! Oh, what I got? Is that another? That looks like a point of interest. Yeah, it does. Here I go. I really just wanted to ride on that whale. These environments are so expansive. Oh, no, they are. They're... Opa! <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. people are happy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for satisfying my government. You're welcome. <gasps> Giant squid! Ah. I wonder if I can get eaten by... And animals. now Jules Verne is happy. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're all luminescent and, and shenanigans. Oh, uh, we were sarcasmed. <gasps> Dan! You're I'm riding! Ride, ride the squid! I got a, I got a trophy! Kraken! Kraken! Oh, dude. Oh, this is so cool. We're getting fried calamari. Oh, yeah, we are. Is that- is that weird that that's how we're gonna celebrate playing this game? <laughs> this beautiful celebration of nature, we're like, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, you know- <laughs> Dan, you know what would make this game better? Food? <laughs> As if I were eating this game. <laughs> oh, dude, something I forgot to tell More you- whales! When I was, uh, when I was, uh, checking in on Twitter that we were playing this- Uh-huh. Or no, it was on Instagram. They uh, the first thing that came up to check in as far as our location, yeah, was the nearest taqueria. Huh. Then I was sitting there going, "It's like, huh, 
Well, I'm not saying no. Yeah. Ooh, there's a glowy. Should probably check out what that glowy is. Okay. Oh, is that another, it's another Final show. Fantasy? Yeah, it's another Final Fantasy, Dan. Yet another one. In the long line of oh, Final, Final Fantasies. Fantasies. That shit never ends, dude. Yep. More like frequent fantasy. You're right, Dan. That was stupid, and I'm sorry. Oh, meditate in the place of darkness. <laughs> wait, wait. I got this. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, more Dan punching me. No, I'm not going to. More because... flabby whale fish. More hey, flabby... guys. Yep. And get? then the Dan? table lamp. Moon jellyfish. Oh. Dan! This episode has gone very long. We'll, uh, we'll be doing other things next time on Phantom Arcade. Hold on. Next time on Phantom Arcade, I'm Peter Graves. It's true. <laughs>